Okay, here is the V stitch beanie. And this one is done with a number five bulky yarn. So you can see how it came out and it just has a really good detail. And it came out really, really nice. So I'm gonna show you the tutorial in regular medium number four yarn. So let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start with our slip stitch. And excuse my hands, I have fingernail polish on it from my daughter and I were having a little fingernail party and I got some of her polish on me. So we're gonna chain four. And we're gonna form a we're gonna form a circle into that first chain with a slip stitch. And then we're gonna chain three. And this counts as our first double crochet, and we're gonna do twelve total, so eleven more double crochet into that center circle all the way around, going right over our tail. So go ahead and do those 12 double crochets in that circle and we'll go on to round one. Okay, now we're going to join to the top of our chain stitch, which is not here, but it's right here. So we're going to join with a slip stitch, just like that, to close that off. And we're going to chain four. And at the beginning of each row, you're going to do a chain four, just like this and then do a double crochet into that same stitch and that would be your first v-stitch because what a v-stitch is is double crochet chain double crochet <clears throat> so we are going to go ahead and we're going to do nine all the way around so that would be our first one we're going to go into our next stitch here do our double crochet, chain one, double crochet, that would be two, and then go into our next stitch and do a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, in that same stitch. I'm going to show you the stitch one more time, and then let you go off and do it. So in the next one, do a double crochet, chain one, and double crochet in that same stitch and see how that forms a little V. So go ahead and do that all the way around. Okay, here's what we have so far and go ahead and at this point check and you should have 11 V stitches counting that first one all the way around. So go ahead and check and if you're ready we'll continue. If not, remember you can pause and play and go back and do whatever you need to do. So we have our chain four for the next one. We're going to yarn over and do a double crochet in the same stitch. That's how we begin every one. And this time we're going to skip this one and go into here to that next stitch. Let me come a little closer. Okay, so we're going to go into here and do our double crochet, chain one, double crochet same stitch. Skip one stitch, go into the next stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and the same stitch. I'll show you one more time. We're going to skip the next one and go into this one here. And we're going to double crochet. i to pick up both of those pieces. Double crochet, I didn't even remember doing that with a yarn over myself. Gotta remember to yarn over, it won't be double crochet. Chain one and double crochet. So go ahead and complete that all the way around and go ahead and chain or join it and chain it and do your first V stitch and we'll continue. 
Okay, I've completed that round. You can really see how you get a lot done at one time and how you really make a lot of progress. I mean, look how big it is already. So we are going to repeat this on this row of doing our V-stitch, skip one V-stitch. So go ahead and do that all the way around and we will continue. Okay, here was the end of that round. Isn't that quick? It's just amazing how fast the speedy goes. I love it. We can quit project, you can do it two-tone, two different colors, make lots of different varieties. It's really, really fast. So this time, um, I wanted to show you how you would normally do that chain up one, but we're actually going to change that and come a little closer. So instead of doing our four and doing double crochet in that same stitch, I want you to go ahead and take that back out. To that first make sure you close this and do your one chain here to close off that round and now we're gonna want to go into the middle of the V stitch right here because we want it to be right on top so what we're gonna do is just do a slip stitch so just slip stitch into that next stitch right here picking up both the front and the back stitch yarn over and just pull through both just like that so now we're in the middle of the v-stitch so now we can do our chain up four and do double crochet into that same stitch Oops. don't want that to happen there we go and now this time we are going to make sure that we go into the middle of the v-stitch on each one right here so instead of going into here you're going you won't even see that little thing there don't worry if that happens so you're going to go right into the middle here and now you can go into the actual hole of the stitch you don't have to go into the stitch itself so just go in here and do your double crochet and your chain one and your double crochet. Okay, and then go into the middle of the next one and do your double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So you want those to be right on top of the previous V stitch, just like that. Sometimes they have them offset. I like mine right on top of each other. Um, and that way my hat doesn't get too big either. So go ahead and complete this all the way around and we'll continue on from there. Okay, I've completed that round and you can see how the beanie has started forming the ridge so it can start coming down around the sides. That's exactly what we want it to do. So when you come up and you have just finished that previous row, you'll come up right on top of this double crochet. So you just want to do the slip stitch again take it over to the middle of the v-stitch just like that right in the center and then chain up your four so how do you know when your beanie is large enough I'll move my pencil here and adjust this so it can sit up and I can move my little foamy head over here so here is this hat and I have put it on several times to make sure it is going to fit me. But um, I wanted it to come, so this is about where her ear would be, right in here. Can't even see that on there. But this is about where your ear would be. So I want it to come right by my ears. And that way I can wear it up like this. You can sit on my head this way. Or... It could sit on my head that way. So you are the designer. It's your hat. So you design it the way you want it to. You might want it longer. You could um, not put the broom on it and make this a slouchy hat. You definitely could just put, just make more rows and it can be a slouchy hat. If you're going to do a slouchy hat, um, just do more rows and at the end just do a, you could do a half double crochet or you can do a single crochet to finish that off. You could even do a slouchy hat with a brim or a peak to it. 
Remember, you're the designer and it's your hat. So I'm going to go ahead and continue on my with my hat until I'm satisfied where I want it. And um, I will show you and explain to you, tell you how many rows I've been. I just want to show you really quick how you can see the V-stitch on here. Hopefully the lighting is okay. See how it, it is stacked? I think that makes a really good look. And that way you have a lot of holes in there. So I know my head gets hot sometimes if, if the weave of it and then the crocheting is too tight. So this is perfect for me. So um, go ahead and continue on and we'll pick up in just a little bit. Okay, here is the finished hat on me. It turned out really good. I'm loving this color. This is so pretty. So I absolutely love the way it has the holes in it. My head don't get too hot. So from here, you could put an edging on it. You could put a visor on it. Remember, it's your hat. You need to be the designer. You need to be the one that's happy with it. I just want to help you on that journey to find what you want and what you want to wear and what you want to create. So I hope that helps. I hope you enjoyed this video. I sure did enjoy making it. It was a really, really quick project. Please be sure to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe and share this video. Be sure to um, check us out on my blog. It will be, um, if you click on my channel, on the right hand side, it will be there and it will be listed for you. So I hope you have fun crocheting and just keep up the great work and be sure to check us out as we are uploading new videos all the time. Thanks a lot, have fun.